Good morning everybody and welcome to Living Uniquely with myself Sharon Brown. I hope you are all doing well on this um, Saturday morning. It's hard to believe that we're at the weekend again. I hope you are doing something nice. I'm coming in today to um, bring in some light codes to help you heal your inner child. I've been getting this hit for the past week um, to really come in and do a bit of inner child work. So it allows you to heal what the old and limiting beliefs that we hold in ourselves from childhood and allow us to reconnect back in with our true divine relationship with ourselves and allowing us to be at one with ourselves and actually having that relationship with ourselves because that is the most important relationship that we have in our lives and we are really only responsible for ourselves so i'm coming in to um do that and um remind you also to join don't forget to um sign up for the soul expansion um event that's happening starting sunday week um and um the information is on my page so um I'm going to bring in these codes. I feel it's going to be quite deep and allowing us to really let go of all those old belief systems that we have been hanging on from a child. That has, good morning Muriel, hiya Regina, hiya Ash and anybody else that's watching. I think um, Josephine, I can see you watching as well. Um, good morning. So I'm really going in to let loose that inner child. <coughs> Sorry, um... Let loose that inner child and just take a drink of water. From all the times that, that um, those belief systems have come up through our life and, and we have been holding on to them from um, childhood. So I'm going to clear them. So just take a deep breath in. I feel it's going to be quite a deep one. So um, just be gentle with yourselves, I'm being told. So just take a deep breath in. And calling all your energy back from people, places, situations, time and space. So just calling all your energy fully, fully back. Allowing you to fully, fully come back. Calling yourself back and allowing yourself to go through that divine filter of pure love and light. So allowing it to fully, fully come back in. And breathe out. Take another deep breath in. And just allowing your energies to fully, fully drop back down to you. Allowing them to fully integrate back in with yourself. And breathe out. Take another deep breath in. And just acknowledge how you're feeling, not wanting to change anything. And breathe out. Now bring your awareness to your heart centre. And as you bring your awareness to your heart centre, visualise two big golden roots coming out of your heart chakra. Into your solar plex, your sacral chakra, your root, your hips, your legs, your feet, the floor. Into your earth star chakra and into the core of Mother Earth. Feeling your energy and Mother Earth's energy combining as one. And feel this energy now move up into your earth star chakra. Pulling your earth star chakra all the way down, <clears throat> down, down. Right down into the centre of the crystalline grid into your rightful place allowing you to fully anchor in your energy just allowing your energy to fully settle and allowing the roots to wrap around the crystalline grid allowing you to be fully fully anchored this is your place on this earth feel the second part of the grid come up and fully anchor in your earth star chakra Allowing the energies to balance. Feel the energy now move up into your feet, your legs, your hips, your sac your root, your sacral chakra, your solar plex, and your heart centre, doing a 360 degree around your heart centre. Oh, 
I'm being told to tell somebody just to, to breathe. There's a lot going on in the heart. Old energy is being shifted. So just allowing yourself to breathe. Somebody's going into overwhelm, whether they're watching this or the replay. Now I'm just bringing in the energies from source, coming straight down into your stellar gateway, clearing anything that is stopping you from having divine connection. Into your soul star chakra, allowing you to see your true soul's path and allowing it to illuminate in front of you. Into your causal chakra, so you can allow your intuition to be fully heightened. Into the crown of your head, so you can think more clearly. Into your third eye, so you can see more clearly. Into your ear chakras, so you can hear divine guidance. Into your throat chakra, so you can speak your truth with pure love and light. Into your higher heart so you can connect into that universal energy of 5D and pure love and fully anchoring in that energy within the heart and the body. Into your heart chakra so you can love yourself for who you truly are. Into your solar plex so you can unleash your true divine masculine energies allowing them to fully balance within the body. And allowing you to accept yourself no matter what. Into your sacral chakra so you can unleash your true divine feminine energies. And allowing them to fully balance within the body. And allowing you to remember and reawaken your true gifts and talents. And allowing your creativity to flow. Into your root chakra so you can bring in the abundance of life and all life has to offer. Into your hips, your legs, your feet, the floor. <clears throat> into your earth star chakra. And right down into the core of Mother Earth. Feeling your energy and Mother Earth's energy combining as one. <clears throat> Feel this energy now move up into... your feet, your root and your heart doing a 360 degree around your heart chakra. Feeling your energy, Mother Earth's energy and Father Sky's energy combining as one. Feel this energy move to every part of your body and every part of your being. Just allowing you to come into full balance with yourself. There's a lot going on in the heart and the throat before I even start bringing in the codes. So I'm just saying to you, I'm being guided to say to you, be gentle. Breathe through whatever's coming up and allow it to come up and release because this no longer serves you anymore. Okay, so we're going deep. <clears throat> bringing in the, the drum. out of me so just take a deep breath in drop into your heart and now give yourself and allow yourself permission to let go of all this inner child stuff and allowing your inner child to heal on all levels
and slowly, slowly, slowly bring yourself back. Wow. Wow. God, that was so, so deep. I felt like somebody had a foot on my chest and a foot on my throat. I felt so restricted at the start of that. Even when I start bringing in the energy at the start, my heart was just literally nearly pumping out of my chest. And my throat, it was like somebody had literally put their foot on my throat. And I did feel that somebody went into extreme overwhelm. <clears throat> and that's why I told you to breathe into it, that it needed to come up to be released. Powerful. And so, yeah, it was, Irene. It was so, so powerful. Um, anybody that came in halfway through that, please go back and watch the start. I feel that was only part one. I feel I'll, I'll have to do that again because um, there's another deeper layer that needs to be needs to come up on some level for some people. So I've been guided to do probably another part. Now, when I'll do it, I, need, I know that that energy is going to take a good few Days, it was beautiful, Sharon. The colours were amazing. Thank you. You're very, very welcome, Josephine. I'm so delighted to help people and allow them on their healing journey and release all this energy that we are holding on to and allowing us to free our souls and free ourselves and be the amazing, amazing people that we have come here to be and allowing ourselves to really, really love ourselves because that's where it starts, with the unconditional love for ourselves so I feel this will be another journey another with the drum a, a lot of release there powerful lots of healing overwhelmed yes I yeah I knew somebody uh, could be a couple of people Regina but yes I did feel that overwhelm come in so be gentle with yourselves guys be extremely extremely gentle with yourself today you know yourself, you are all on the, this healing journey. You are a long time at it. You know what comes up. But just be very, very gentle with ourselves because we can be surprised at the stuff that has been coming up for us all at the moment. It's, it's just so much triggering out there at the moment. So just be gentle with yourself and be kind to you because if we don't look after ourselves, nobody else is going to do it for us. So have a magical Saturday. Drink as much water as you possibly can to release all that negative stuff. And I will be back on tomorrow to bring in some energy and have an absolutely magical Saturday, guys. And be gentle and be kind to you. Take care. Bye.